Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. I wanted to take a minute or two here to discuss VLC Media Player and its ability to crop or trim video for you. Uh, VLC Media Player is an open source freeware media player that's the choice of geeks around the planet. But sometimes it's not very intuitive uh, to where to find things or how to do things, so I thought this was worth a video. Uh, when you open up a video with VLC Media Player, here's the interface, usually auto plays. And let's say you have a video, it's 10 minutes long, but you only really want to keep two minutes of it, and the extra drive storage space is worthless. Or uh, maybe you want to trim a few seconds or a minute of a video for social media purposes or reels purposes. Um, there's an easy way to do that with VLC Media Player. Most media players or uh, audio video programs, you would select a section in either on the timeline or crop or trim, and it, this can be very accurate. But here with VLC Media Player, they go about it a little differently. This is your, your timeline slider, right? And you would put your timeline slider to where you wanted it. If you wanted to be very accurate, you could go down here to the corner and type in exactly where you wanted to start. But in this case, I want to go from, say, 15 to 25 seconds. So you would push play and then record. And by hitting that record, that's telling VLC Media Player to essentially copy this section of video out or while it's playing and when you get to the point that you want it to stop you just hit record again so i'll do it at 35 seconds here and now it's made a copy of that video without you seeing it it's put that copy of video in the videos folder which is the default here storage folder for windows right? and it's made a copy of that 10 seconds of video here and what's nice is you can see that it gives you the the year, month, day, time, uh, and the name of the file. So you can sort through and find it later easier. And at that point, you could rename it and do what you like. If you don't like that to store in the videos folder and you want it someplace else, again, it's not very intuitive, but easy to change. You go to preference tools and then preferences and then inputs and codecs because we all know that file management is under inputs and codecs right and scroll down to where it says record directory and file name you would browse to where you want it do you want it in downloads music or any other folder you select that folder click save and then next time you you close VLC Media Player, reopen. Next time you reopen it and do this, it'll be in your music folder or wherever you want. If you just blank it out, then it's going to default back to that videos folder. So again, just so you can see how this happens, you, now you move it to where you want, say we want to start at a minute, right? And we want to go to say a minute 10, because that's the section we want. You have to push play first and then hit your record and it's going to record that section out okay? and when you get to say 110 or wherever you like you just hit the record button again and it saves it into the video folder so that's it that's vlc media player and how to trim or crop your video uh, hope you liked it if you did please hit the like or subscribe that helps the channel out a lot until next time, geek it till it megahertz.